Hello everybody, my name is Tuomo from CodePulse.blog and in this video we will take a look on how to style your Draft.js editor. Draft.js itself doesn't come with any default styles, so the styling of the editor has been left completely to the user. However, it might be a bit unclear how you can actually add some styles to the editor. So that is exactly what we will learn in this video. Okay, so let's dive right in. So we are going to use Create React App for this example, and we are just going to run through the uh, setup for this project. So we are going to set up Create React App, add DraftJS to it, and then we are going to use a simple editor component example code for our editor. And after that, we are going to start styling the actual editor. So we are going to concentrate more on that and just get this project set up going right now. So, uh, first of all, we are going to use create, uh, create React App to initialize our application. And let's switch to our terminal and let's run npx create React App and editor example should be our project name, like so. Uh, and it's gonna take a few seconds to install. And meanwhile, let's take a look at the draftjs.org uh, website for the documentation for this, uh, for the draft.js editor. And let's go to the docs. And in here, let's scroll a little bit down. And here we can find an example code for a very simple Draft.js editor component. And this is what we're going to use as our editor also, and then style this. Okay, let's see if the Create React App has run. Yes. Let's switch to the directory. And let's right away add Draft.js. So React is already added since we are using Create React App and we just need to add Draft.js and it should take it shouldn't take more than a few seconds, like so. And then let's open our code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code, so I'm gonna open it like this. And after that let's run the npm start which will uh, boot up the development server it shouldn't take more than a few seconds to open up okay cool it's working and i'm gonna open up our dev tools also okay now let's switch back to the editor and open up the src folder and what I'm gonna do is just uh, delete everything from here except the index.js delete and yes and now I will create a new file my editor.js which will serve us as our editor component and now I will switch back to the Draft.js documentation and just copy-paste everything from here. Copy and paste it to the my editor JS file. And then we don't actually want to render the editor here, so let's remove this and instead export this component. And since we are not rendering it, we can remove the React DOM import also. Now let's save this and switch back to the index.js file. And let's do some cleanup here also. So I'm gonna take away these three lines and also this one on the bottom and import our editor component.
and pass it as a parameter for the React DOM render method. Okay, now that we save, we should have our editor component in the browser. Let's switch back to the browser and see. Yeah, we can't actually see anything, but it's right there. As we can see, now that we type in it. Uh, and this is actually the problem with this. Uh, when you start using Craft.js, you don't get any styling in it. So you need to be able to style the component uh, as you wish. And in this example, let's do a few things for this. So let's make it a little bit, uh, let's give it a border, a black border, and then give it a height of 150 pixels, or, or, or let's make it uh, 200 pixels, and then let's make it 300 pixels wide. Okay, let's start with the uh, border. Let's switch back to the uh, code editor. And I'm gonna create a new file, styles.css. And I will import it in the editor component. Like so. And how we can add styles for this editor. Okay, so let's first inspect it. So I right click it and click inspect. And we can see that we have this uh, div, with, div with ID root. That is our React Apps root div. And inside it we have a div with the class draft editor root. And this is actually the uh, root element for the draft editor. And then we have a draft editor editor container class for this div inside the draft editor root div. And inside this one we have a div with ID or with class public draft editor content. So we are going to use these three classes to uh, target the editor with CSS and add some styles for them. So let's start with the border. Uh, we can add the border for this root element and how we do it, let's take that class name and apply some styles. So we're gonna target it with div dot drafted the root and add a border of one pixel solid black. Now I save it and yes, we can see we have the border now. Then we wanted to make it 200 pixels, uh, height of 200 pixels and the width of, uh, set the width for 300 pixels. So let's add those. Hey, what was 200 pixels and, okay. And as we can see, we get the width and height set also. But we have one problem. Uh, if we look closely, we can see that the mouse or the cursor doesn't change until we get up here. So if we inspect this closely, we can see that, okay, this trapped editor root component or element is uh, the actual 300 height. But inside of it, we have this draft editor editor container element and it's only a height of uh, about 18 pixels. So it doesn't, it's not uh, the same height as the draft editor root. So what we will need to do is in order to get the cursor to work as it should, like if we click here, it should uh, focus on this uh, editor and we should be able to start typing even if we click from here. So what we're gonna do is add height for this div also and also for this div. So let's first add it for this 
I'm gonna copy paste that class name and switch over to our CSS file and add a height of 100%. And now it will be 100% of the parent element height. So this one was the parent element, so it will be height of 200 pixels. Now let's save. And we can see, if we inspect, we can see that okay, the draft editor root is the correct height. Also the editor container is the correct height, but we still have this public draft editor content div that is not. So let's add the height of 100% for this div also. So let's back to our editor and we can do it by adding it here. Like so now when we save, we can see that the cursor automatically changes right when we uh, enter the editor area. Now if we create multiple lines, so let's just hit return a few times. We can see that the content overflows this, this editor area. So this is something we don't want and we want to have scroll bars appear whenever the content goes uh, or the content is the content height is more than the editor height. So to do this, let's switch back to our code editor and what we need to do is add overflow y value equals odd like so now there will be scroll bars appear whenever the content goes over the edges of the editor so now we can actually already see that we have scroll bars since we our content goes beyond the edges of the editor and if we take these lines away uh, the scroll bars disappear because the content now is much uh, the height is not as much as the height of the editor okay cool uh, let's add one more thing to make our editor a bit more better looking uh, let's add a background color for the whole editor and to do this we can do it directly for the draft editor root component so let's add a ground color equals and let's make it page and save and when we come back to our browser we can see that our editor now has a nice page background okay to recap if you if we wanna style the draft.js editor we can do it by targeting these three classes css classes uh, draft editor root draft editor editor container and public draft editor content uh, when we inspect the editor we can see that there they are always present here the draft editor root is the Root, com uh, root element for the editor. Inside of it is draft editor editor container which contains the actual editor and inside that we have a div that has class public draft editor content and this holds the actual content of the editor. And we can style this by targeting uh, or we can style the editor by targeting these three classes.